Welcome back to the Pregnancy Series. My name is Shane. And I'm Jen. And this is the Yambors. And we're having another conversation all around this new pregnancy that we are experiencing right now Mm -hmm. and hoping that it adds value to you. So today we're going to discuss 10 things that we expect during our pregnancy. Yep. Let's get into it. We're pregnant. We're pregnant. We are having a baby. So we thought this would be a fun conversation. And the funny thing is we don't know either one of our points. This is from both our points of view. So we have 10 things that we have expectations for during our pregnancy. So we both decided to take on five points. We don't, like he said, we don't know what the other person wrote down. It's going to be fun. Yeah, it should be a lot of fun. And the five topics that we'll be covering are emotionally, physical changes, spiritual changes, expectations of our partner throughout the pregnancy, and lastly, just expectations of our relationship slash marriage throughout the pregnancy. All right, so we're going to get into the points now, and I'm just going to read all five of my points, and then you can read all five of your points, and then we can discuss from there. All right, let's do it. All right, so don't look at my points now. (laughs) I'm supposed to look. (laughs) I know, right? (laughs) All right, so for the first point of what I expect during our pregnancy is physically, I think it's going to be shocking Mm -hmm. to see my wife with a big belly eventually. Mm -hmm. I mean, I just, it's very shocking to me that that eventually will be the case because we have been together for so long and never had to, never dealt with something like this. So this is going to be so new and I'm just going to be shocked. I mean, like, even though I have a couple of months to prepare for this, I just think it's going to be like, whoa. Okay. Okay. Um, so emotionally, what I expect, emotionally, I think it's going to be a whirlwind. Mm-hmm. Trying to navigate your home, your hormones, mm-hmm. your body changing, <laughs> the health of the baby along the way, the unhealthy food cravings you will have and already have had. <laughs> I think it will be a whirlwind of emotions Mm -hmm. of just thinking like, wow, like it's a lot of changes. It's a lot of changes going on right now. And we can discuss more into this, but Mm -hmm. that's the emotional. Now, spiritual, I think having a child is going to bring us closer to God. Mm -hmm. I think it's going to provide more of a, a purpose of what God wanted for us along this journey that we've been on for so many years. Like, Mm -hmm get more further into a glimpse of what God has ordained for us in our lives through having a baby. Yeah. Like we didn't see this for ourselves, but God always knew that this was in his plans for us. So I think just that alone and just getting more in touch with God's plans for us, I think it's just going to make us spiritually stronger. Both of us. Nice. One expectation from your partner. I expect Jen to have fluctuating emotions and hormones (laughs) that might make her a little cranky sometimes. But I expect for her to make those moments and those times known to me when she is not feeling her best so we can act accordingly. Okay. I hear you. We'll see how that goes. (laughs) All right. And then the last one, um, thoughts of how our relationship will be during pregnancy. I think it's going to be a learning curve the entire process. Mm -hmm. We have been together without children for 13 years. So this nine months is going to be so foreign to everything we know about each other. But ultimately, I know we will figure it out along the way. I think at times it will be rough and there's going to be a lot of changes going on. But mostly I but mostly it will be a beautiful journey to cherish this unique time because mm-hmm. it is a unique time. Yeah, It's only nine months out of our whole entire relationship. But I think like really cherishing each and every day is going to be a beautiful thing in itself, mm-hmm. along with just the changes of everything going on yeah. from a day to day basis. But yeah. overall, I think it's going to be beautiful and such a unique experience that we'll always cherish for yeah. now and for decades down the line. Of course. Yeah. Of course. Well, it was very interesting hearing your five points. Um, and I know we'll talk about it a little more after you hear mine, but um, it was good to know your perspective on how you think um, the pregnancy is going to go because it is a learning curve. It is something that's foreign to us. And so 
it's good for me to know how you're feeling and vice versa so we can like figure out how to navigate through this pregnancy as right. a team and together and doing things like this will shed light on some concerns that we have um some joys that we expect to experience throughout this process and how we can make it better together and like better understand each other yeah as we're learning like how to to raise a child yeah you know? and, this, so, and this is what it's all about yeah but anyways so let's, let's go hear to my your point. let's hear your five points let's see what you got <laughs> Stir it up. Okay, so my five points actually they weren't too far off from yours. Oh, okay, great minds think alike. Yeah. So I said that for phys- physically, as far as the changes, that my hope that as I continue to change over these months, that I'm healthy mm. and that the changes are smooth for me and the baby. So ultimately, I hope and pray that I have a healthy pregnancy. Yeah. I hope and pray that's that, first and foremost. Yeah, you know, I hope and pray that the help the health of me and the baby and as we both continue to change and grow it's smooth because you do hear stories where you know it's not the case for everyone so i'm i'm just hopeful that things will go very smoothly mm-hmm. for me and the baby and i also hope that my feet and ankles don't swell <laughs> 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 There's a lot of things that I'm like, okay, I think I'm willing to be like, all right, I can get through this, but I don't want to have like swollen feet and ankles. My and wife I know be about to have them cankles. And I ain't trying she... to have my feet elevated up on, on a pillow all day. <laughs> I know that happens to people. So. Uh, <laughs> stay away from that salt. You, you'll be all right. Um, he really pushing his food. Sorry, I'm just joking. <laughs> um, as far as emotionally, I said that I hope to just like un- unlock new parts of myself. Mm. while developing a bond with the baby yeah. um, because I know how to be an aunt, but I don't know how to be a mom. And I hope that it comes. That's a bar. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, it's true, but it is yeah. kind of a bar. Um, but I do hope that some things do come naturally to me. And I hope that as I'm evolving emotionally throughout the pregnancy and as you're evolving as well, as we're evolving throughout um, this pregnancy, that it unlocks new parts of ourselves mm. um, that we didn't know was there and, you know, helps us develop a, a bond with the baby. So and then spiritually, I said to keep God at the forefront of this pregnancy and grow a deeper relationship with God as I we learn how to be more selfless and take the responsibility of raising a family. Um, so that is something that I hope we we learn to um develop even more and right. deepen throughout the pregnancy um, in terms of partner expectations <laughs> uh, patience and understanding that motherhood and parenthood is Her. a learning curve and process we don't know what we're doing um, yeah. so you know I just don't want us to get impatient or beat ourselves up about things because it's it's gonna take time for us to get it and yeah. we're doing the best that we can so that's a good one. I like that. Yeah. I like that a lot. Yeah. So just understanding that motherhood, parenthood, fatherhood, all of that is a process. And also to be patient, Shane. Yeah, I want you to, to be, be patient. patient. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Not only with me, but with the baby too, because yeah. we don't know what this baby will want and need and it can't talk to us just yet. So yeah. um, patience and patience with me because I'm probably going to be all over the place uh-huh. with just uh, how I'm feeling. Yeah. <laughs> and as I stated in my points. Yes, that's why I said it was kind of similar. <laughs> and then lastly, as far as expectations in our relationship, I said that we're a team and that we're in this together. I hope that we fall more in love with each other and enjoy seeing each other in new roles and taking on the responsibility of raising a child. I love all five points. Yeah. I definitely love um, point four and point five. Yeah. Those ones really stood out to me. Mm-hmm. And... I think really it it, it kind of speaks to our relationship too because a lot of our points were kind of aligned. Yeah. So we're already thinking alike and we just got to stay on that same page. Yeah. And this pregnancy is still very new to us. Nine weeks? Yeah, I'm nine, nine weeks now. Yeah. Nine weeks now. Mm-hmm. And we just had our first doctor's appointment just last week and everything went well. Thank God. Yeah. And everything looks like it's on the up and up and our baby's going to be healthy and that's just what we pray for and that's what we want but along this journey there's going to be so many changes yeah um to our relationship and to the way we move and the way yeah. we think and you know future thoughts of like how we want to raise our kid and mm-hmm. and what we want to do where we want to live i mean like yeah. there's so many things to think about so many emotions that we've yet to even experience right and 
you know, that's, that's the beauty of parenthood and even just the pregnancy. Mm -hmm. Um, this is a short time in our life that we really have to cherish, but along the way we have to stay in good communication. And that's what this, this, uh, video is about, but this conversation is about, about us being on the same page and Mm -hmm. having this conversation about what we expect along this pregnancy so that we can have that clear communication, that clear direction of where we want to be and Mm -hmm. what we, and how we want to act. And, and just moving with intention the best way that we can, you know, because like you said, things are going to change throughout the course of the nine months. So how we were feeling, you know, nine weeks in will probably look a little different as we're 20 weeks in, you know. Yeah. So um, I think that as long as we, as you said, continue to communicate with each other and are checking in to understand like what our expectations are and how we're feeling, yeah. um, we can move with intention. Right. And that's that's all we can do. You know, like we don't have all the answers and we're not going to have all the answers, but we can try and move. We can move with intention and figure it out the best way that we can and do it together as a team. Yeah. And, um, and there, there's a there's a beauty in the mystery. Yeah. There's a beauty in the mystery of like, what does these next eight months entail? Yeah. Like, what does what's going to happen? And I, I know that there's people watching this video right now that are in the same predicament of, man, I, I'm newly pregnant. And I really don't know where to go or how, you know, the next steps and the next yeah. next way and the next direction I should take. And we're hoping that videos like this that we create are given some clarity and also some talking points with your husband or mm-hmm. your wife or your or your partner to say, hey, we need to be on the same page. We need yeah. to communicate because communication is key. It's key. And making sure that you guys are both on the same page as far as parenthood and about this process of pregnancy is so important. And that's why we're having this conversation for us, mm-hmm. first and foremost, but also to help other people. And that's yes. what we want to do. And that's, yeah. that's why we have these conversations. So like if you're having, if you're, if you're really enjoying the conversations like this and you're getting some value, we really hope that you subscribe to our channel and you take a look at our pregnancy series. We're going to have videos every week about pregnancy, about our, our journey along the way, but just the story of pregnancy and the different topics and the different talking points around pregnancy. So I think that's, that's what we want to do. Do you have anything to add to that? No, I think that you said it very clearly. Um, I would just be repeating what you said. Um, But yeah, we really do hope that you guys get value from this. Although we're speaking from our experience, you Mm -hmm. know, we're really doing this because we also wanted to help other people that are figuring it out as well and trying to navigate, you know, a pregnancy. And maybe you've already had children before or had a child before, but that pregnancy can look very different from the one that you're currently experiencing. So true. it doesn't mean that this video may not be help. It doesn't mean that this video can't be helpful to you. So all in all, we just hope that whoever is watching this video is getting some value from it. And we look forward to sharing more content around the pregnancy series with you guys. My name is Shane. I'm Jen. And this is the Yambors. Bye everyone. Enjoy the journey.